of us, let's not lie, because actually I checked with myself, we will stand against injustice like that. We would we, we not mind that, okay, whatever, whatever I, whatever ends up happening, whatever, wherever this thing ends, I don't mind. How many of us are ready to give our all? <laughs> channel this is Elua Shea you see your favorite girl on YouTube and thank you for coming back thank you for engaging my videos and all the content that I put out there thank you so much I'm grateful and yay cheers to more and I wish you a good time watching this video thank you welcome back guys so in today's video is actually based off of a scene that I watched in a particular movie or a series. <laughs> if you listen to my last podcast, I was talking about the fact that I've been binging a lot of movies. I've been binging movies a lot. And I don't cry for movies. I actually do not cry for movies because I just believe that most of them are fictional. They are things that is they are stories that somebody wrote out and Maybe based on some life experiences, but actually to me, movies are not worth crying for. There is only one movie I've ever cried for. I enjoy the a movie like that. Then I watched, uh, I'm, I'm seeing this series, I'm not done with it yet. And then they, there is this particular scene, and God, I got chills, and I cried. And what actually led to it was because high school students, that's like equivalent of I think secondary school in Nigeria right now. Yes, they stood up to fight against injustice. They fought against injustice and they stood by it fighting doing what they did at that point in time meant that they were going to boost access to some things. They were going to get this quality. Yeah, it's actually a football American football, not soccer now. American football team. They're not supposed to knee on the field. For a play, for a match, rather, but they knee because of police brutality. One of their community member was killed, and they actually argued as a team that they need, they will knew rather, and that meant that they were going to drop out from the race. Now, the part that got me most was that after these guys, this particular team knew the school they were supposed to play against as well knelt with them oh my god <laughs> I, it was so emotional for me it was so it was so powerful i would say i dare to say it was very powerful and it's a very courageous thing to do how many of us let's not lie because actually i checked with myself we will stand against injustice like that we, we would not mind that okay whatever whatever i whatever ends up happening, whatever, wherever this thing ends, I don't mind. How many of us are ready to give our all, yeah, to fight for injustice or fight against rather injustice, to fight for the powerless, to help the oppressed. How many of us are actually ready to, to, to do that? And I realized that we don't even bother to fight. We don't even bother to fight. At the end of the day, when somebody says something unpleasant to you, you've heard them and you feel bad. Instead of this, you just tell them face so that I do not appreciate what you're saying to me. It's okay, it's fine. Meanwhile, it's not fine. You're going to be, you're going to suck in it. You're going to suck for days because of what this person has said to you. So why not just let the person know at that point in time that I do not appreciate this thing you have said to me. We that we cannot fight for ourselves. Are we the one that wants to fight for others? Honestly, ask yourself. That's why at the end of the day, most of the injustice that happens and the way we take it on social media is going to end up as um, a trend after two weeks, max a month. Everybody has forgotten. It's because we don't, we're not actually ready to fight for it all. We're not ready to give it our all. I mean, inside this same movie, and based on this particular case, the DA's daughter actually released the video 
Meanwhile, that was actually a mistake on our own part, actually. But my question is, why don't we all fight for things that we do not appreciate? Why don't we fight against things that are life-threatening? Why don't we fight against things that do not make us happy? Why don't we fight against things that do not make us comfortable? Why do we find comfort in keeping short, in not speaking up for ourselves? Why can't we just let it go say it in the moment in the heat of the moment just i don't appreciate this and this and this i'm sorry i cannot do that i am very sorry i won't be available to do that and at the end of the day you will graduate to be able to say sorry i cannot do that for you do you understand we should be able to fight for ourselves because nobody is going to come and save you honestly that's one thing that Maybe when you realize, you understand that, okay, I need to fight for myself. Because nobody is coming to save anybody. More like we are all on our own. And it's whatever choice, whatever decision that you make for yourself. That's what people will stand for. That's what people will stand by. That's how they'll be able to fight or not fight for you. If you are okay with people bullying you and stepping over you, why should somebody else help you to stop that act when yourself you're okay with it if you're okay with being walked all over why should i come and help you when you're cool with it you've never even made any effort it will it backfire you've not even you don't know if it will backfire maybe this person will adjust or not you've not even tried anything you're just there enjoying the unjust things being done to you we are not ready to give it all a lot of things that you want to say to people but you just keep it inside let's be free sometimes let there be chaos the universe will find its balance that's one thing i've learned no matter the amount of chaos and the amount of peace the the world always finds its balance let's people sometimes let's <laughs> don't always hold your peace speak up speak up because these things these things affect you in the long run if you can't fight for yourself how are you supposed to fight for your neighbor how are you supposed to stand up for your friends your community the society how are you supposed to when you cannot even stand for yourself stand up for yourself tell people that i don't like what you, you start small start small yes somebody says something demeaning to you i don't don't talk to me like that I would not appreciate comments like that. It's, it's that simple. You may feel you may feel heavy in your chest the first time you try it, but it's, it's it shows that you're coming out of your comfort zone. It's something that you do not normally do. And honestly, one thing I've realized that people will always adjust. Yes, people will always adjust. If somebody says that, oh, okay, maybe you're yeah, somebody's yeah housemate with somebody, I say that. I do not, um, I do not, I'm not going to be cooking for you anymore. If you're not okay with this, you want to tell the person that I won't be cooking for you anymore. Let's just cook separately. They may hold grudges for a few days. Eventually, when they see that you're standing on it, you are true to your words. I'm not cooking for you anymore. First day, you didn't cook for them. Second day, same thing. They will understand, oh, this guy actually means this. And they will come to terms with this. People will always adjust. It's just that we are the ones that are ready to accept that, um, how would I put it now? That thing they are offering us. They are the one that is ready to accept it. But let me tell you, they will adjust. If you tell somebody that don't talk to me like that, you say it and you are very stern about it, they will adjust. They will adjust. It's just, you, you just need to step out of that comfort zone zone try it once and you see that yes the lord is good people will adjust don't allow anybody to talk back to you because honestly we this people that you're allowed to talk back at you talk to you anyhow and all of that it's not as if they are almighty it's not as if they are perfect they are humans like you are too so why should you take nonsense and rubbish from, from them I'm actually, I actually wanted to talk about this on the basis of a society, as a society, fighting for ourselves, having our own backs, supporting ourselves, making sure that injustice does not prevail. 
but i realized that you cannot give what you don't have you cannot fight for your society if yourself you don't fight for yourself and all this just follow the trend you remain you'll be like say i know follow them mm -mm. do some do things from your heart if you want to follow a movement follow it with your heart and if you are not going to follow the movement then don't follow it at all and you don't have to say anything about it just say okay make up your mind i'm not going to talk about this thing some things happened recently and i said somebody asked me that what's my opinion i said i don't have any opinion on this because i did not even follow it at all i did not read anything on it i did not check the news for it at all i did not any post i see about it i don't even bother to understand what is happening i do not have interest in it and that is fine if you don't have interest in something don't have interest stop okay ah, i don't have interest in this thing it's not be a bad thing for me to do i've already told somebody that i do not have interest in that in the issue then because of i go on social media and i see that people are talking about it and all of that Let's not be like ah, she you know join out though. I would and then I will not uh, I will not go and be talking about it, maybe making videos about it, twisting about it. That's me lying to myself, not staying true to my words. Yes, people change. There's a place of that. Your ideas can change, your opinions can change, but not in the place of um some issues, some um delicate matters. And I said, you have already said I don't have interest. I'm not. I don't want to talk about this thing. Then because people, are, everybody's talking about. Let's not be like when they check through my page. It's not be like I did not talk about this thing. Stay true to yourself. Do things that make you feel okay as a human being or as a human being. Do things that make you feel okay, not something that makes your neighbor feel okay. You're not living as your neighbor. You are not living as your sibling. You are not living as your parents. And I said it in this video and I'm saying it again now. Everybody will adjust. People will adjust. No matter how difficult this adjustment looks like from your own angle. Because when you think that people will be sad by whatever decision you are going to make, they are looking at it from your own angle only. They are looking at, the, at it from the angle of that person. You're telling your neighbor or your housemate that I'm not cooking for you anymore. You're only looking at it from your own and be like, okay, this person does not cook normally. You don't even know if they can cook. You don't even know if they don't like eating homemade food. You don't even know if they, you, you are even doing, you are doing them a disservice by cooking for them. You don't know if, you, if guys don't have the same taste in food. You're just looking at it from your own angle. You are not looking at it from the angle of the person. And stop trying to make decisions for people. Stop trying to uh, feel bad for people. When they've not actually experienced their situation for for you, yeah, to you. So, by the time you want to make decisions, think about it from your own angle. Have a discussion with the person. You will see from their own angle, and you will understand. Okay, I'm at, I, I've actually been doing a disservice to this person and to myself. Honestly, we need to do better as humans. We need to do better as people. We need to do better as friends as family members as siblings as every relationship that we formed we need to do better and i really hope that we can become better and great yes you become a better version of yourself because the war is not against the competition is not against your new ways against who you were yesterday because you don't want to stay there anymore that's why people always say that may i not have a better yesterday because who you were yesterday is not who you are supposed to be today and in future yes so i hope that we all become better and all of that and become better great amazing thank you so much guys i'm very very grateful for you watching up to this point and i would like for you to subscribe like comment share turn on the notification button such that whenever i post a new video you'll be aware that okay Lua share this has posted a new video and yeah you can watch the other videos on the page in my last video i spoke about friendship and the five love languages so yes you can binge on that and the other ones too so yes thank you so much guys and i'll be catching you on the next video <laughs> thank you bye bye